Three baseball drink shots. Wait. Bonjour everyone, Pantoff here today for a new video and before beginning that review about the Skoda T25 I want to give two shout outs, one to Lucas Siddhartha, shout out to you, you're gonna recognize yourself and same for, sorry because I really need to read it to not mistake it, Ryan Nyam Lucas C salutes you. Anyway, let's go back to the review right now. We're going to talk about the Skoda, the tier 6 of the brand new Czechoslovakian Tech 3 line. And basically, it's a really great tank. And obviously, everybody knows that because everybody is playing it. When you go into the tier 6 matchmaking, you have either 3 Skoda in your team or 3 Skoda in front of you. If, if you're really unlucky, 3 Skoda on both teams. Which can be quite upsetting because it doesn't feel like you can really know the performances of this tank as in the regular matchmaking you will not see as much Skoda as we have right now due to the hype of the 7.7 .7 update. But what does this tank has for you? I'm gonna give it to you really simply. It has a great auto loader because you have 1.5 seconds between shells. So in three seconds, because you have three shells, you will be able to burst a total of nearly 500 damage, which is quite good for a tier six. Your DPM is average uh, or in the norm for a tier six. Gun dispersion is good. Aim time is a little bit long and the magazine reload time of 14 seconds is average as well. So we could say that the gun is quite real reliable, sorry, as long as you are not alone. But we're gonna talk about the playstyle during that video after a little bit later average penetration fine as well especially the apcr penetration 194 is definitely enough for you to go through most of the enemies you're going to encounter even tier 7 average damage as we told about 160 and something really interesting the gun depression which is 10 degrees allowing you to be quite versatile on pretty much every single terrain this game has to offer one thing that really amazes me about the skoda and i don't know if a lot of people recognize that when playing it but the mobility is insane you go around 60 kilometers per hour so you are as fast nearly as light tanks of the same tier which allows you to take really advanced position or retreat if you need to which is something that perfectly fits the gun being implemented on that tank finally the travel speed no problem 56 degrees per second for the hull and 43 for the turret which is enough for you to do all the job now one thing i want to talk about and i'm not even gonna bother showing you the armor profile of the tank because everybody will penetrate you including into the gun mantlet. So it's quite easy to penetrate that tank. It's made of paper. And when I say paper, I mean that tier six tank will go through your tank with HE on the sides, because as you can see, even the turret is definitely angled to be a, a target for HE shells. How am I equipping my tank right now? First, calibrated shell to increase my penetration because I don't see the, the point of improved ventilation and I never saw it, so I always go for calibrated shell when it comes to auto loader tanks. And then the gun lane drive to reduce my aim time a little bit and finally refine gun because without this, your average dispersion is really bad. For the vitality, first I go for the defense system because I'm not gonna ram anybody. Improved assembly because as I told you, you don't have any armor, so you wanna increase a little bit your hit points. Toolbox because an instruct is useful less improved optics because i'm not gonna camp i'm not a tank destroyer engine accelerator because your mobility is great so why not improve it just a little bit and finally consumable delivery system because as you have an auto loader you don't have to use adrenaline so you would rather use your consumable more often let's say it like this now let's jump into the playstyle. Concerning the playstyle of the tank, basically, as you have an autoloader, you get a plane support. You can't rush through the enemy lines uh, because you're going to get exposed once you are reloading your whole clip. So you want to use a little bit of your brain there to avoid getting yourself stuck in some stinky situations. How do you do that? It's simple. You wait either for your whole team to be rolling against the enemy team and you take a look at your map and when all of the seven enemies are spotted you can adapt your playstyle to be able to take some distance while being able to shoot them or you can try the sneaky way as well and by sneaky I mean you go to a corridor where there is not necessarily a lot of people that you can handle with one clip, for example, and you're gonna try to work from that reach line. That's exactly what we're doing right now as we kill the STRV. Yes, we took a shot in the process, but that was definitely worth it because we managed to kill the guy by completely clipping him out with our 500 alpha bursting damage. There we go, and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the Leo. Yes, he managed to sneak some shots, but who cares, as with our amazing intra clip reload, we managed to get the job done. There we go for the second kill kill 
and already nearly 1.2k damage. As you can see, the SU-85 is not paying attention to us, and something really interesting to do with the Skoda, and you're gonna see it right now, is perma-tracking your opponents. As your reloading track clip is really, really fast, it will allow you to block your opponents, especially turretless tank destroyers, and therefore, they will not be able to shoot you back. That's something interesting to do, and that's probably one of the best tactics. Of course, sometimes you're gonna get surprised, and God bless the fact that this KV-2 did not try to shoot with H shells, because otherwise it would be over for me. He sneaked his shots, but now I'm gonna go away, and as you can see, the KV-2 really wants to kill me, because he's definitely rushing to kill me. Not a problem, not a problem because we're faster than him as you can see 40 kilometers per hour because we are in a bad uh, On a bad terrain which is already great for a medium of that tier to go to 40 kilometers per hour And then we only have to get away to escape from the kv2 the game is already over We got our four kills. Are we gonna be able to sneak a shot on the kv2? I'm gonna wait for him to shoot he shot I'm gonna try to poke around the corner and I failed my shot unfortunately allowing the kv1s to get the kill No problem. We still did a good game we ended up with 4 kill and 2.4k damage it's fine it's a pretty good game with it but don't worry i have more to come Concerning the second game, we are still top tier, as you can see, and we're gonna try to play, let's say, a little bit differently. In the first game, when we played, we were trying to sneak around. We were not in direct contact with the enemy team. Now, in this replay, we're gonna play a little bit more aggressively. When you play aggressively with that tank, you wanna find a position from which you can use your 10 degrees of gun depression. As the whole tank is a weak spot, uh, the, the more you can hide part of your tanks, the more chances you get from people not being able to shoot you. That's why what's important to do with this tank is finding a position from which you can show only your turret using your gun depression. And that's exactly what we're gonna do on top of that hill. There we go, our reload is nearly complete and we're gonna have some fun on both of those Skoda. There we go, we sneak our shots and every time I shoot I try to go back to a safe position to avoid getting shot back and here it worked. I managed to put my five sh uh, three shots sorry not five if it had five it would be broken but my three shots without taking a single shot back now of course when you're playing an auto loader you gotta analyze your map and as you can see right now if i did not go away all those tanks right there would have been able to completely crush me because i'm literally alone all my team not playing as aggressively as i did so in the beginning of the game thanks to my amazing mobility that allowed me to take advanced position i sneaked one two maybe three clips but now now, when it's time to retreat, it's time to retreat, because trust me, this tank is not gonna handle a single shot. That's what we did. We're gonna try to, low, to to focus on isolated targets. There we go for the BDR. I'm focusing for the last shell because I really didn't want it to screw that up. And it worked perfectly. We killed the BDR. There is the KV-2 alone. One more time, as I told you, we are focusing on lonely targets. And against the KV-2, what is great here is that we have the perfect position. I have 10 degrees of gun depression. I'm gonna be able to work on the reach line. And that's exactly what we do. Thanks to our great interact re reload, we managed to sneak two shots. The KV-2 missed his shot and as he missed I also reloading I know the kv2 has 20 seconds of reload so I'll be able to reload completely my uh, my clip and kill him that's why I was confident and played aggressively there we go for the first shot second shot and boom kv2 is no more time for us to reload once again and focusing on the last two guys the Skoda and the t3485 but as we are greedy and as we have a clip uh, fully ready for the Skoda we are gonna go for the maximum damage so there we go, and as you can see, 66, 68, 70 kilometers per hour when you're rolling down a hill. That's something really impressive with this tank. And yeah, it allowed us to be the first one to completely wreck that last Skoda. Now there is the T3485, but as we have 14 seconds of reload, someone is going to kill him before. Knowing that he's a one-shot, people will push him. It worked, 2.7k damage, battle is finished, and with it comes the first class and an amazing game. Truly, the Skoda is a great tank as long as you definitely know what you're doing. You need to know when to retreat. You need to know that this tank is effective only when you use the gun depression and only show your turret to your opponents. But once you master it, it's a pretty effective tank and probably one of the best mediums out there to play at tier 6 from the tech tree branch. Hope you enjoyed that review. If that's the case, feel free to subscribe, like and share. And I'm going to see you soon for a new video. Au revoir.